Why is my inheritance taking so long? Why does probate take so long? And why is my inheritance taking forever? The first reason is statutory timeframes. And what I mean by that is the law. Depending on what state you live in, there are legal timeframes that have to be adhered to for a probate to take place. So in most jurisdictions, there is a time period between filing the petition for probate and actually having the first hearing. And then there's usually a 60 to 90 day period after that for creditors to come forward and file a claim against the estate. So in most jurisdictions, it can easily last four, six, or seven months, and sometimes even a year for a probate. And it's not because somebody is not doing their job or walking away with some of the assets. It's because there are legal timeframes that must be adhered to in order for the probate to be done correctly and properly under your state's law. Number two, debts need to be paid. Part of the job of the personal representative or the executor, depending on what jurisdiction you live in, what state you live in, is that they must first assess all of the assets. In other words, figure out what the assets are. And then the second thing, which is just as important, is figure out what the debts of the estate are. And that means they're going to have to give notice to any known creditors. And obviously there may be some unknown creditors out there, so they have to publish it in the newspaper. Most states require 60 to 90 days, sometimes even more, as a time frame that you must give creditors to come forward and make a claim. Once they make a claim against the estate, then the executive has to make the decision and the judge has to make the decision on whether that claim is actually a valid claim against the estate. And sometimes we're dealing with very big companies, big credit card companies, big hospitals, and it takes them time to get that claim processed. So they may get the notice to creditors and find out that somebody has died, then they have to process it through their system. So it may take them 30, 40 days to actually make a claim against the estate. And if they make it at the tail end, then it's going to cause a delay in the probate because if they make it on the 50 fifth day, then it may not get processed in the probate for another 10 to 15 days. So a big delay in probates is figuring out who the creditors are and making sure they get paid so that there's clean title when a final distribution is made at the very end. Number three, selling real estate or selling the home of your loved one. And this is a big one because maybe a year or two ago, houses were selling like this. We would literally put them on the market and we had a offer on that house within a day or so, sometimes the very same day. But nowadays it's taking longer with higher interest rates for property to sell and that is causing a delay in a lot of probates because sometimes the only asset in a probate in your loved one's estate in their assets is that house maybe they didn't have a lot of money in the bank account maybe there wasn't any insurance maybe there wasn't any retirement so if there's not a lot of money then we need to sell the property sell their home in order to pay debts and then have enough money to make a distribution to the heirs number four money needs to be collected just like I talked about in number three, where the executor has to assess what the debts are of the estate. They also need to assess, like I said, what are the assets? Where is the money? And sometimes that takes a little while to do. A lot of times people will only get quarterly statements on their financial assets. So if your loved one died, say in January, you may not get a financial statement showing that they had assets someplace else until to mid April or late April. And that is an asset that is unknown. So that is why it takes a while sometimes for the executor to figure out what all the assets are. A lot of times it's easy because once they have been appointed as the executor or the personal representative, they can simply go through the mail of the person who has passed away. And that will tell them a lot. It'll tell them where their bank accounts are, if they had any other real estate, if they owed any debts. So it'll take a while sometimes for the executor to identify all of the assets that belong to the decedent. Number five, too many last will and testaments. Sometimes people are really good at up updating their estate every so often, every so many years to make certain that their estate plan does exactly what they want them to do. Unfortunately, what people also sometimes do is they keep all of those other versions of their last will. And when they do finally pass away, the latest version is not available. The only ones that are available are the previous ones. And that may not be the one that the person actually wanted to administer their estate. So it's very important that if you're updating your last will and testament, you make certain that that update version is available in its original version for the probate court to probate it through the process. So the problem with having too many last will and testaments is that you may start probating one from like maybe 2003 and you go through the process and then all of a sudden somebody finds a last will and testament from 2015 or 2022 or one done in the last few months of the person's life. And if that's the case, then that is going to make a delay in the probate because sometimes that will completely change 
change who is the executor, and it could also completely change where all the assets are going to be distributed to. Number six, family fights. This is shaping up to be a personal war, and right now, it's anybody's boxing match. This is the absolute number one reason why probates take forever, is the family starts fighting. And it really doesn't matter what they're fighting over. If there is a fight, then it is going to delay the probate, sometimes over a year, because judges hear hundreds of probate cases on an annual basis. Here, just in the county where we are, it averages about 1,600 probates every single year. That doesn't even account for the probates that were started in the previous year, and probates that were done even years before that. So the courts are very busy. And so when there is family fights, that means that they have to be put onto what's called a contested docket and set for trial. And when there's a trial, that means you have to look at the judge's schedule to see when it's even available. And sometimes that can be months, sometimes years before they can actually hear your case. One of the biggest things that we see people fighting over is not the money, but the personal items that belong to their loved one. And it may be that painting on the wall. It could be their super friends collection. It could be their collection of porcelain figurines from Spain or wherever it is. And that's the main thing that we see people fighting over is what are the personal items. If you get into that situation, then you really need to make a cost value of what it's going to cost to probate and to fight over those little items in the estate. I tell people, take a picture of it, take a picture of it, and then put that picture up on your wall. It's a lot cheaper. It's a lot less expensive. And you're going to be a lot less emotional if you just let those kind of things go. I know it's hard to do. But those are the biggest reasons that we see people fighting in a probate is over the personal personal items. I know I've thrown a lot at you today, so that's why we've prepared our free guide on estate planning. I'll put a link to it in the description below and in the comment section below that so that you can download it and get started in the right direction. And to help you out even more, watch this video up here and this video up here. If you enjoyed this video, then guys, please smash that subscribe button and click on the like button. And also click on that little bell so you'll get notified every time we post a new video. Have a great day and an awesome week. And as always, thanks for watching.